this is our 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 mandate uh, emanating from uh, the Equal Opportunities Commission Act. When you read our functions in 2F, we are supposed to develop guidelines to, to all government programs to ensure that equal opportunities, affirmative action, gender and equity issues are not left out in the government program. So, of course, we have a policy in Uganda enlisting the different types of vulnerable people. But COVID actually made us to, to, to learn that vulnerability is not a static issue. It's, a, it's an evolving concept. They, they, with COVID, they emerged the new vulnerables. So the president wanted to get a list of those vulnerable people so that they can be supported. For us, focusing on not leaving out the marginalized persons, we have attached annexes for the parishes to pick information, household information, to know who are, how many women are there, how many persons with disabilities, what are their, their disabilities. Um, in 2019, the UN Human Rights Office, together with OPM, the Uganda Human Rights Commission, uh, the National Planning Authority, and the UBOS, signed a memorandum of understanding on data collection from a human rights-based approach whereby as you are collecting data you ensure that you miss nobody you miss you, you leave no one uh, behind so i think uh, it's, uh, it's it's important that as we are implementing government program and of course it's the, the role of the un to assist government as far as the un human rights is concerned it's about ensuring that human rights are better promoted and, and protected most of the uh, government interventions that seek to transform uh, the population socio-economic transformation of the population from a subsistence way of living uh, do use a good theoretical approach but practically imagine everybody has got needs if this person is not included in the money economy then he will be depending on you he will be depending on another one and eventually the, those are people who are going to be a burden to the entire country